All right, let's start covering methods. It's a big topic. It's going to span lots of videos, but we're going to start off nice and easy, and you guys are going to be ready for them. So let's go. We're going to make a new class. I'm just going to call this my class. Call it whatever you want, but make sure you have this checkbox right here checked off. Finish. There we go. It's good. Here we go. Now, let's look at line number seven. That's a good line to look at. This is the signature for the main method. It shows you the properties that the main method has, the arguments it takes. Um, we're going to cover lots of this in other videos, but right now, uh, we're going to. I just want to point out that this is the signature of your method, and every method has a signature. Um, now, we're going to type our method outside of the main method. This has not been done before by you if you've been following the playlist on Java videos. Uh, but you can type things outside the main method. So let's do this. Let's type out what are we going to type out? Static. We need to type in static. What is static? Static just says that our method will be able to be used from within our class. For now, we want that. Sometimes we may not want our method to be able to be used from our own class, but for now, it's good. Okay, next we're going to type in void. Void just indicates that our method does not return any value. Later we might want it to return a value, but for now we're keeping this example nice and simple. It doesn't return a value, and it, the static means it can be used from within our class. Main. We're not going to call it main. <laughs> I was just looking at the main methods. Um, we're going to call this something else. Um, our method. Okay. That's what we're going to call it. And we're going to put open bracket, close bracket. And inside, normally, we'd have arguments. But we're not going to worry about arguments right now. It's an easy example. We're going to have the body of our method here between this code block. Now, how would we normally do this? We go system.out.println, and inside that we put, hello world, it's a wonderful day, put an exclamation mark right there. We hit play, okay, proceed, hello world. Awesome day, there we go. Now, how do we do that in a method? Well, we do it pretty much the same way. We go system.out.println, and what is it? our method gonna say? Our method says hi. It says hi with an exclamation mark. There we go. And we're going to play. Okay, proceed. Nothing happens. Why not? Well, as I said in the Hello World app, the main method is the one that gets uh, executed when we run our program. And so what happens? We go down our program, we enter the main method. Uh, program sees system that add a print line hello world it does that do, do, do blank lines blank lines sees the end of the main method boom done this is never called this method needs to be called for to do something so let's call it how do we call this method we're just going to type in our method that's the method name followed by the open bracket close bracket and we're going to put a semicolon and i misspelled our <laughs> there we go i fixed that Looks like it's gonna work. Let's let, let's try it out. So a method's basically a a um, collection of code that can be referred to by name. That's basically what a method is, and we can do this over and over again. We're not limited to just doing this once. We can do this more than once. We can do this lots of times, and we play. Okay, proceed. See. Same thing over and over again, and we didn't have to type that out. Now, that has very um, useful applications that we'll talk about later on. For now, just know a method is a collection of code, can be referred to by name. It has a signature. All methods have a signature. Okay? And there you have it. You made your first method.